Inkblot Art Academy, a beloved map from Splatoon 2. It's been here for a while. We all know it. We all love it. But there are a lot of tricks and tips associated with being the most irritating thing. What kind of things can you do here? I'm glad you asked. For starters, if you really want to be a nuisance, there are two ways into this middle area, right around here. This is important. But the reason this is so important is because if you have any ink here, you can jump over. Or, if you have any ink over here and you're sneaky enough sticking close to the wall, you can stick over here too. There's, again, two more ways into an upper part of base from here. This thing here, and this path over here. What you're going to want to do is ink this, and ink the walls on this statue looking thing. And then, you can just cross over here, and cross onto this side. Or, you could do what more people do, more people know about at least, is go over here. And now you're here, and you might think, hey, that's probably the end of it. All of the map is accessible now, right? You can go into the enemy base, you can go all around in this area and paint stuff. And do all that annoying stuff, keeping them running in a big circle, chasing you. And you know, if they follow you bound down here, you could drop down here for safety, or you could just jump across to another part leading you back into their base. But, it doesn't stop there. Because this wall is inkable. And so what you can do is you can get up here. I am not in my spawn. This is their spawn. And I am just chilling up here. And the only way for them to get you is, one, do this trick, which they probably have no idea about. Okay, they can jump up here, but still, none of it is inkable. So let's say you're an ink brush up here. You can just run circles around them. They, you can't get caught in any ink, or you're just a shooter that really likes to strafe. You have a lot of run speed up. Again, they can't do anything about it to slow you down with ink. There's not many places you can move up there, but... Hey, that's just one more way to be annoying and slippery, right? Now, what makes this trick particularly special is that you can't just climb up here. So, that takes that off the table. The only way to get up here is to wall jump. Squid roll wall jump. So this is the only way you can do this, and you can do it with any weapon, but it's just one way to be really, really annoying on Inkblot. And if you want to take it a step even further, I don't know why anyone would want to do this, but you can just kind of go over here. Be careful though, because if you touch this, you die instantly. And let me just demonstrate in my base over here also. There's another one of these walls over here, and it has an invisible wall past this point. Realistically, every part of Inkblot is accessible. Every single part of this map that has solid ground. Now, how fast can this be done? Let's say Blaster. It's average at moving, I guess. And let's see how fast we can do it with no interruptions, how fast we can get into their base. Ready? Go. I even made a couple mistakes, and that took me all of 30 seconds. Now, of course, there's going to be people here shooting at you, but still, if you want to get into their base and be annoying, this is your fastest route. Probably. I don't know, somebody else can lab this out. So in Rainmaker, you wouldn't really want to ordinarily focus on this, so I don't even know why anyone would even tell you this, but I guess I will. If you pass the Rainmaker, go over to this little line over here, like I was talking about earlier, you can just fly into their base. It's not like it matters because there's a ramp there. But it's an alternate route. And yes, even here, you can just kind of... 
It's not an Easter egg. You can just kind of make your way up here. Different route. You can take this ramp. Uh, there's not the jump from the middle this time, so there's detours on splat zones. Your best way to do this is similar to the first way. As a matter of fact, it's almost identical. Why you would want to do this in Splat Zones is a mystery to me. But it's here if you need it. In Tower Control, your way up is slightly different. You can actually use this tower as a way to get in, so that's one difference. But again, the best way is sort of here also. Now, one practical use for this is maybe hiding down here and being annoying, because people don't really paint this in ring, especially. And then when you see that you're about to get the tower, you flank back here, you flank over here, just kill anyone who's trying to get your friends off the tower. Again, really situational. I don't know why anyone would do this on pack tower control. And if you want to go up here, I guess you can also shoot from below down at these people who are trying to get your friends off the tower. And last, everyone's favorite mode, Clam Blitz. To me, Clam Blitz is the most interesting one because Clam Blitz has a few differences that set it apart from maybe just like, I don't know, every other stage. For starters, you can climb these walls, which make it so that you can go over here. Or if you wanted, you could jump up these walls there's this ink rail over here. And there's this ramp. So there's like four good ways into base. Not to mention this place is still here. And this box. Which, again, you can do the old trick of just grab the side and jump on in. And ordinarily, this is where the normal person would stop at Clan Bliss to throw their ball into the basket. But if you want to do super drunk strategies, Maybe you can position yourself over here, someone can jump to you, and boom, sneak attack. It might actually serve some sort of sneaky, stealthy purpose, especially if you have like an ink brush. Now, I don't know why anyone would ever want to go up here, but it is possible in every single mode to get up here. Anyway, uh, I thought this was a neat trick, and I'd like to see some of it when I'm crying when someone's spawn camping me like this because I want to make the game worse for everyone. Bye.